Greet us in the name of Jesus the Christ, a name that's above every name, at the name of Jesus every knee must bow, and every tongue must confess that Jesus is Lord to the glory of God. Jeremiah asked a question in Jeremiah chapter 8 and verse 22, is there no bomb in Gilead? Is there no physician there? Why then is not the health of, my, of the daughter of my people recovered? Is there no bomb in Gilead? I want to say there is a bomb in Gilead. The bomb was a, a plant, an uncommonly plant that was not indigenous of Palestine. It was not produced in Palestine. They had to go to a far away country to get it. And when they did go get that plant, that uncommonly plant from a faraway country, the healing was not in the roots. The healing was not in the leaves. The healing was not in the stem. But the healing was in the juice. But in order to get the juice, the plant had to be crushed. It had to be bruised. It had to be cut. And the Jews brought forth healing. I want to say to us today in this world, there is a bomb in Gideon. And that bomb is Jesus Christ. Who has believed our report, Isaiah said? To whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? He shall grow up as a root out of dry ground. He had no form, no comeliness, no beauty that when we see him, we would desire him. But he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was on him. And by his stripes, we are healed. Jesus is our balm in Gilead. He came from Shekinah glory into this earth to bring healing for our sin sick souls. But in order to do that, he had to go to Calvary. He had to be bruised. He had to be beaten. He had to be pierced in the side. And out came blood and water. The healing is in his blood. Healing. The water, the word. So today, this world has a bomb. And that bomb is Jesus the Christ. If you don't know him, get to know him. The word is not the, even in our mouth. Even in that, in that heart. That is the word of faith which we preach. That if thou wilt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus, and shall believe in that heart that God had raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. For with the heart man believeth unto righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made unto salvation. Jesus is a great healer. He heals our sin sick soul, but he is going to heal. He's going to heal this pandemic, coronavirus. He's our healer. And we look to him, Father, thank you. When we were without hope, you sent Jesus into this world, Christ in us, the hope of glory. Thank you for that blessed hope. Heal our land, bless your people, encourage your people, and keep us in perfect peace. Let us love one another the way you loved us. In Jesus' name, amen.